What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. What's cracking, what's cracking, what's cracking? Back with some more content for the Amazing Play series, which is a playlist where we look, uh, analyze, break down plays by a player or a team that you or I or both of us might deem amazing. So this one is from a game uh, March 30th, 2007, Toronto Raptors at Washington Wizards. And what makes this play so amazing is a buzzer beater sequence to force overtime. A very improbable and, uh, I guess, unforced error by the Washington Wizards that gave the Toronto Raptors a chance to force overtime and fun fact the Raptors ended up winning this game a game they should have lost in the final seconds they ended up winning you have to see how this unravels this isn't going to have a whole lot of rewinding and uh you know annotations on it uh just kind of there's enough replays in the video so we'll just watch it maybe rewind it once or twice here and there but uh let's take a look at it Miami and Chicago Of course, the Miami game will be in South Florida. Arenas is fouled. Washington up one. Hibachi going to the line. To play, so Gilbert will go back to the line where he's 7 of 11 tonight. What a job Eddie Jordan has done molding this team along the course with Ernie Grunfeld and the assistant coaches and Milt Newton, Tommy Shepard. Third year in a row that the Wizards are headed to the playoffs. With some exciting basketball, most of it due to this guy. The Hibachi, a.k.a. Agent Zero, Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert is 8 of 12 from the free throw line, 29 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists. Making sure Michael Ruffin's going to match up with Chris Boss. <laughs> Watch how all this goes down. Got all right. It. No timeout. Washington Toronto. up by three. The length of the court. Ruffin tips it away. And. No! Not possible! Not possible! Under four seconds left in the game, Toronto gets the ball into their half court. Good thing, Ruffin here, our boy Ruffin, intercepts the pass. All he had to do was hold the ball till the game ended or even chuck it down the opposite side of the basketball court and let time run out. I don't think he understood how much time was left, so he just throws the ball up in the air, hoping he throws it up for at least... Three, three plus seconds. And no, he throws it up in the air, not high enough. Mo Peterson doesn't give up on the play, catches it, and throws up a heave to force overtime. <laughs> I remember when this happened, I was like, holy, did I just, did, did that just happen? Look at Antonio Daniels' face. Look at the face he gives rough in here. I'm going to rewind. Look at, the, look at the face. Look at the face he gives him. Not Watch possible! <laughs> I love it. He, that, that his face explains it all. That that There is a whole lot of, you know what he's saying. That face explains it all. No words needed. No words needed. like a long three seconds to me but uh, I was blocked from blocked by uh, Eddie right in front of me fun fact Peterson if I'm not mistaken only 
has only been in the game like one or two minutes, if I'm not mistaken, and comes in and hits the biggest play of the game. Doesn't give up on it. Doesn't give up on it. Michael Ruffin tipped the ball up into the air, hoping that time would expire. Wow, look at that shot from Peterson. And he's lucky he wasn't fouled. Good on Karan Butler for not giving up on the play either. Morris Peterson, who has played one minute in this game, one minute. has just hit the shot to tie it. Look, look at the stun. Stunned players out there. Karan I mean, Butler sure takes a minute for them did to run up on him. It's interesting because Bosch reached out and grabbed Michael Ruffin, but they elected not to call it. And now Peterson gets that shot off. Unbelievable. <laughs> leave nothing to chance in this game. Very close to contact there. As Peterson throws it up, and Mo Pete hits his 101st three-point shot on the season. Steve, this is the most difficult and challenging thing to do when you feel and see that you have a win or think that that's the case, and to have a shot like that send in overtime to get back into the huddle, regroup, and come out with some intensity to play this last five minutes. Uh, Deflated. Again, was, was Ruffin trying to throw the ball, or was he losing yes. the truck? No, really he was trying to throw it up in the air and you let know, time run out. Maybe he didn't quite know the time. Again, I think Bosch reached out and grabbed Michael Ruffin, which may have caused him to not be able to control the basketball. I wouldn't mind seeing that again. The Wizards ended up losing this game in overtime. Lost. See if Bosch tries to grab a hold of Ruffin. He has well, it there. Well, we, yeah, he's getting ready to throw it. Maybe he just feels like the time has yeah. expired. He's just going to throw it down to the other end. But boy, and look at Ruffin grabbing his head. <laughs> All five players out there for the Wizards just done. Keep in mind that TJ Ford has fouled out of tonight's game, so he will not play in the extra session. Meantime, Morris Peterson checked in with 9.3 seconds left in this game. And he <laughs> hits the shot. That's heard round Chinatown. To tie the game at 109, and now the Wizards will have to play. Checked in with 9.3 seconds in. Well, here the long See? pass to Bosch. Yeah. And Ruffin actually intercepts it, but again, yeah, like we said, he's going to throw the ball. And Mo Peak does the only thing he can do, heave it towards heave the basket. Heave that up. <laughs> it goes. And you know, that, that that's like the best case scenario, right? They throw the ball into their onto their side of the court, and you intercept it. Game over. You didn't even give them a chance to catch it. But no. Mismanagement of the time. <sighs> This game's over, right? Oh, shit. Oh, Splash. Overtime. That's it for that one, man. I just wanted to share that that sequence with you. It, it's, it's crazy how things can turn around so quickly in the NBA, man. You know, you just met, you know, it's, you got you to gotta be steadfast and focused for the entire 48 minutes until that buzzer sounds off or as you leave a crack in the door, you leave a sly little crack in that door, somebody will open it up and voila, a whole new opportunity. Let's play another quarter. Appreciate you guys. Let me know if you've seen this one before or anything quite like this uh, interesting turn of events, if I should say so myself. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, stay notified and I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.